You want me to give you a funny one? Yeah. And you don't have to use it. This is just funny. I'm very superstitious. People think really superstitious. I coached the JV team, and the game was immediately for the varsity team uh, game. And so I'd coach and then get a candy bar or something and eat between games and then go. And a fan gave me a Snickers bar one time, and so I ate it and we played a great game. And so the next game we got it, we played a great game. And then the next game, I didn't get a chance to get a candy bar between the two games. And we got our butts beat. It was the only game we lost at home. So down the stretch, I would always make sure that I had a candy bar in my pocket during the JV game, and I would eat it before the varsity game. Even when we went into the tournament, even as no JV game, I'd still have the candy bar. So we get to New Orleans, and in the New Orleans Superdome in 1982, they had no candy in the arena. None. I went around the whole place. You know, we're there an hour and a half before the game. What the crap are you going to do? Sit around, stare at a wall or something, a candle under your face. So I went and got an uh, usher and asked him if I could go outside. I said, I need to get something at the convenience store right there, and I'll be right back. And he was a security guy at the gate. And he said, yeah. So I took off and just jogged right across the road, went in, got the Snickers bar, came back out. The guy had left the door. The other guy wasn't going to let me in. I said, I'll be damned. This is a national championship game. Somebody's going to let my butt in. And I'm standing there, and I'm pleading. I'm down on my knees. I'm offering him money. I said, can you get your supervisor? I said, the guy that I, you know, and at that time, they didn't have all these badges and, you know, t tickets around and everything. I said, get a program. I'm in the program. Okay. So finally, the supervisor came in and, and let me in. I was one supervisor away from not even being able to get into that gum arena. So, <laughs> every, well, he didn't know it because, you know, as soon as we got there, I told them all about it later and they were just laughing their heads off at me. But think of that. Think of what your blood pressure would be like when somebody, you're coaching all year and you're going to win a national championship and somebody says you cannot come in the arena. Oh, so, no, that was uh, – that was one of my worst moments <laughs> that I can ever remember. And I'm still superstitious, but uh, I felt like if I got that one accomplished, I was going to be all right. <laughs>